Like, how far away are Tip, do you feel? Um, I don't think, like, look, last year's obviously shows you that if we're performing, we can be there thereabouts. 2021, obviously, first half, the Munster final. Like, just, I just think that if Tip can get it right, they'll be close. They can beat anybody. And that's the probably thing, just getting that consistency over 70 minutes is probably something, I know you do probably a lot more analysis than me, but it's probably something that we've kind of struggled with over the past couple of years. So if they can get that consistent performance, and even if we do have a bit of a... a what would you call it? A, a bad patch that is not detrimental to the to the result. But looking at last year, definitely felt physically, you know, we definitely improved and we were there thereabouts. Got the draw, obviously, and things didn't go as well after that. But that should give the boys a bit of you know realization that it's there for them if if we can just keep it going for 70, 70 plus. How different is it playing against Limerick versus other teams? Like you, you kind of mentioned Kyle Hayes, and I'm just wondering, is that a microcosm of of basically playing them entirely? No, I think, it's, yeah, it's structured. They're so good at the structure. And, like, I'd imagine, you know, I heard good things about Paul Knurk, and obviously he's brilliant, but, uh, like, their structure seems, even if, you know, they think back to 21 months final, they didn't change what they were doing. They might have made one or two tweaks, but, you know, Shane, I'd say they're very much, they play two inside and Peter Casey around. They just, they just really trust what to do. And you think back to all the great teams, Dublin football, they obviously had a structure that really works for them. So... Yeah, I think it's more of the personnel, obviously, because Cotton O'Neill fits in, the lads to come in in different places, and it doesn't seem to affect them. So that's probably the, the hallmark of a team that's really tactically aware of what they're doing. Mm. And in terms of uh, Liam Cahill, his first year, what do you feel he brought to the setup? Because, you know, it, things did take to, uh, seem to take a turn for the positive. Yeah, he sure looks, Liam is very honest. Um, like, you know, he brought in lads with him and they demanded high standards of fitness and obviously hurling. And, and I suppose. He has a good energy about him. And I think that, you know, he demands, he'll tell you exactly what you're doing right or wrong. And I guess, I suppose, in the current era, you know, maybe we're not as good as receiving maybe the, a straight talk. And if that's what you want to say, it's a bit more PG. But Liam definitely brought the element of, this is what we want to do. This is what I want you to do. And, like, I have no doubt that Tip will improve again on the back of this year. I think there's a few lads coming back in again after injuries. And, you know, so there's definitely a... There's definitely a good push in him, and I suppose you will see, hopefully, see it in the league coming out again. You know, I think the, it does. Like, from my own experience, it does take a year or two to bed into the senior team, and even as a manager, I'm sure Liam has found out a lot about, you know, different lads and different things because seniors different to underage hurling. Like, 